Beyond Walls is a creative placemaking agency headquartered in Lynn, Massachusetts. Our mission is to activate space to strengthen community. We wanted to start the project based on feedback from community meetings that were led by Mass Development. And out of those meetings with residents and business owners, there was really a focus for a need for lighting and more artwork in downtown Lynn. From that stemmed everything that we've done, the underpass lighting, the installation of the vintage neon, and now two years of mural festivals. So all of our walls were prepped by the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades Union. DC35 is the chapter that worked with us. Really, they were a partner. Last year, we came in and made a commitment to do all the prep and priming of all of the walls for the muralists. So this year, our business manager, Jeff Sullivan, uh, understood the commitment to the community. So we've been out here for the last week and a half, power washing and prepping all of the walls for the murals and then we put masonry primer on all the walls. Uh, Sharon Williams donated all the paint for us. We have a rotating staff of about 10 members coming out and volunteering their time. So last Saturday we had our Women in Action Committee, uh, which was six women from our union. Two of them were Lynn residents, donated their time, and they primed all of the walls at the 451 Broad Street project, which will be done by a woman artist, uh, Sophia from Puerto Rico. And we're really happy about the uh, commitment of the women in the trades and, and the commitment of the women artists to come out and help beautif beautify Lynn. They also got us all uh, lift certified. So all of our artists and their assistants were trained and certified in lift operation, meaning that everyone was much safer. And that was all on DC 35. There were really two main components of this year's mural festival. Again, large scale pieces of artwork that were installed by artists reflected the cultural identities here in Lynn, as well as the restoration of two what we've termed ghost signs. So these are signs that date back to as early as the 1930s. They're painted on brick advertisements, and we converted the Zimmons one back to the look and aesthetic that it was in when it was first installed, as well as the Empire sign that can be seen from the commuter rail. So we had artists from all around the world. Uh, we had 24 artists here in Lynn for the duration of the festival. We flew them in from the Dominican, Puerto Rico, England, from other areas of Europe, as well as closer to home, we had some artists that flew in from LA and from the Wynwood area of Miami to be with us. So, you know, we have a sizable Cambodian population here in Lynn. Last year, we brought in the Cambodian artist named Fonky. This year, we brought in Brian Byung, again, a Cambodian artist, and he put up a piece on Monroe Street behind Fonky's piece. The subject is about uh, mass movement, uh, people, uh, immigration. So I'm working around the subject of uh, people working, uh, walking with luggages. The luggages can uh, have different meaning for different people. By example, uh, people escaping to a different country. So the, the only thing that they have is their, uh, their luggages. Uh, also people that want to travel but couldn't afford it. Regular people that just want to travel to uh, experiment uh, new things in life. Yeah. We also brought in Ruben Yabera, a Dominican-based artist. He has ties to the North Shore. He put up this piece that's behind me today. This year, we came to Beyond Walls in Lynn. Such a great event. Um, uh, and by when I say we, I say Galactic Wolf Cobra. It's a collective comprised of uh, Golden 305, Frankie Infect Kennedy, myself included, Ruben Oviera, Cipros, and Flavia Ramos from Brazil. What we hope to express is, uh, is the feeling of love. We believe that there are two entities and powers that rule the universe and it's love and fear. All the negative aspects of life come from fear. All of the good ones come from love, no matter what you want to name it. I have the dissected Venus, that's the name of my mural, and it's uh, Venus is the Greek goddess of love and beauty. 
in my particular direction. I like to chop subjects and show the inner beauty rather than the outer beauty, which is more interesting to see people and not judge a book by its cover. And I, and I dissect items in order to rearrange it and have the viewer be able to arrange the piece himself. And when I chop it, I show the rainbow, uh, which is, represents all of the colors, humanity, unity. But all together, it just makes for a great composition and uh, a great expression of love, beauty, and art. Usually I work with portraits. I really like to paint people and I like to paint like uh, typical people from my country. For example, she's like a typical girl from my, from my city and she has this beautiful flower in her hair, which is the national flower of the Dominican Republic, the viscous. I work with the theme of water in, in my paintings and my murals. Maybe because I'm an island person, for me water is so you know, important. I um, you know, I like the effect that water has on human emotions, on the skin. So I want to just leave something from my art here in Lynn, and I'm very excited to be here. Last year, we partnered with the Downtown Lynn Cultural District to put on a, an end of uh, the mural festival block party. This year, we expanded that partnership. This was to fall on August 18th, a Saturday. Uh, the mural festival was challenged in general this year. We just had so many rain days. We had a, we had a huge flood that affected many businesses on Monroe Street, uh, including our warehouse and the rain hit us on the Saturday. You know, we were expecting uh, many thousands of people. Despite torrential rain, almost 1,300 people came out to take this in. I love what Beyond Walls has been doing for Lynn. Public art is such a great gift to a city, and to have it be such a thing from the city to the people is just great. I love seeing the art, I love sharing the art, I love t telling people about it, I love coming down and seeing all the booths and bringing the family out even when it's raining. I came here today because I live in the neighborhood. I invited my mom and sister to join so they could take part. I love that whenever I leave my apartment, I get to see all of this beautiful, huge pieces of art on all of these buildings in the neighborhood. So it's just a really awesome thing that's happening in downtown Lynn. I fell in love with all the art that was happening last year through all the walls and everything. And this year, I got to meet a lot of different artists that are here from all over the world who are doing different art things throughout the whole city of Lynn. And the reason why I'm here is because I love this. This is great for the city of Lynn. Everybody gets together. Everybody gets to know each other. You get to know the artists and everything that's going on. Big Nazo is a group of artists that put on the large space alien monster suits. We uh, all got to participate in, in the making of some of these suits with, with some kids from uh, Lynn. And then we, we put the suits on and we did a, a mural tour. I was the big yellow nine foot guy, so it was a lot of fun. I couldn't hear much when I was in the suit and or see much, but I had some people that helped me get off of curbs and get upstairs and it was an awful lot of fun. It was, it was tons of fun. And we came back into the square and the music continued. It was an awful lot of fun. Uh, and obviously we're hoping for any future festivals to, uh, to hopefully have a bit more sunny weather. You know, last year we had a total of 23 artists that put up 15 large-scale pieces of art. 
This year we had 25 artists. We put up 32 pieces of art. So it was a substantial increase in the number of pieces. But I think we, we had a really strong team made up of uh, Pedro Soto, Julia Midland, uh, and then an expanded uh, group of volunteers, uh, committee members, board members, residents who really wanted to be involved. Something like this, it takes a whole city coming together. You, we've had, we had fantastic union support, obviously, in DC 35. The wall owners that gave us permission, Mayor McGee, the city councilors, mass development, many, many others that I'm not naming, and, the, and then really the residents in the business community. We'll see where it goes from here. You know, we love working with these artists. I still think there's walls to be done. There's still places to activate in the city. Um, and we'll look to do that with either art or light or something entirely new. We've got a few things that are in the works that are based on community feedback. One is an activation of a waterfront parcel, as well as a parklet program. It's gonna be based on community meetings. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna get an awful lot of feedback from the community as to, as to what they think of the projects that we've done thus far and how we can help in the future. We're in a, uh, a culturally rich downtown. Lynn's very special based on, based on who we have here and what this community is.